they see me rolling. They hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. 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 My music so loud, I'm swinging. They hoping that they gon' catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding. Hi, I'm Lauren Rume, and on behalf of all BC teenagers, I'd like to say. This labeling device is humiliating and inconvenient, and it's definitely a kick-me sign for cops. Today on Bridging the Gap, we're going to take a drive and find out about the changes to the graduated driver's licensing program, and we're going to visit some local high schools to see what teens think about the changes. Um, how long have you had your license for? I've had my license for three months. How do you feel about having your end? I liked it really like a lot at first because it's kind of like freedom. You just don't have to have your parents to drive around with you and everything. So I like it. Do you like the changes that have been made to the graduated driver's licensing program? I personally don't like the changes because I would rather have my um, my in sooner than my like the full license sooner because then I can drive by myself without my parents being there. So I would I'd rather have the old way. Do you know anyone that has ever violated their end? Very, yeah, pretty much everyone I know violates their end. Do you have anything you'd like to say to ICBC about the program? I don't think that um, the in rule is that well thought out because, like, we want to carpool and like be environmentally friendly, and we want. We can't do that if we can only carry one passenger. If we have a group of friends going somewhere, we all have to take like three different cars. And I think that's a little bit ridiculous. I'm 16. My birthday's in August. I got my end three months earlier because I took driving lessons. How do you feel about having your end? Um, it's pretty sweet. I have a lot of more, a lot more freedom now. Like, get to go wherever I want. Do you like the changes that have been made to the driver's licensing program? No, it's gay. Why do you think that? Because you have to wait like a whole year to get your end and it's like most people are ready in six months or whenever they're ready and like it's two years now to get your full license from your end which is really stupid. I'm Joel Rubichek. I've had my license for seven months. Okay, how do you feel about having your end? At first I liked it but then it just kept getting worse Why? because everyone wants rides and uh, the cops are always around. Hey, <laughs> do you know anyone that's ever violated their end? Yeah. Uh, just too many passengers and no end. Madison Demers, and I've had my license for nine months. There's its ups and downs. I think that it's good to be independent with your license and have your own car and go your own places, but the rules and regulations are making it hard for a lot of teens these days, so I think that they need to follow up on their rules a bit more and change the things. My name is Colin Smells, and I've had my license for almost a year. It's fun, but I don't really like the rules. Okay, why do you like the rules? Uh, too restricted. Um, I'm Sean, and I've had my license for almost a year. I mean, it's great, the restrictions are really retarded. Why don't you like them? Because I can only have one pass here. Okay. Um, do you know anyone that's ever violated their end? Everyone I know. <laughs> do you have anything you'd like to say to ICBC? Um, I think they should change the restrictions because uh, as far as drinking and driving goes, I think it increases that, that uh, aspect of it because you're only allowed to have one person for every drunk person. Mike Conlon, I've had my end since January. Okay, how do you feel about having your end? I feel good. It's a great time. Okay, why do you like it so much? Because uh, I can go pick up all the ladies whenever I want. Do you think you could drive safely with more than one passenger? Oh yeah, I'm a safe driver. Excellent. Good. 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 And I've had my license since April 11th. Do you know anyone that has ever violated their own? Yep. Lots of people. Do you have anything you'd like to say to ICBC? Yeah, that one passenger rule, it should be not there. Now we're going to visit Ted Ogden, a representative for the Insurance Corporation of British Columbia, and we're going to get their take on the graduated licensing program. Thank you for meeting with me today. So first I'm just going to ask you, when did the graduated licensing program start? It started in British Columbia in August of 1998. What was the reason for putting it in place? We followed the lead and best practices of a lot of jurisdictions, both within Canada and the United States, that had done a lot of research into risk and risk for young drivers. And the research at that time clearly demonstrated that as new drivers start, not just young drivers, but new drivers, 
the risks associated with multiple passengers, nighttime driving, the introduction of alcohol, all those sorts of things combined had a huge effect on the crash experience and, and youth were grossly overrepresented within that group. Did it affect the number of youth involved crashes? Yes. In the first few years, um, Ontario has, has been doing it longer than we have. They saw a 31% reduction in the, uh, crashes for new drivers. In British Columbia, we saw a 26% reduction. What about youth driver accidents? Is that different in your statistics than when you say youth involved accidents? Because when I was reading your statistics, it said from um, from just on your website, it said that ages 13 to 26 and 13 year olds aren't driving, well, shouldn't be driving. So is that saying people who are driving without a license then, or is that including just passengers in the car? That right, but as, as it speaks to those statistics, no, they wouldn't have been as drivers, they wouldn't have been as passengers. Mm -hmm. So what are the changes to the driver's licensing program? The changes that just took effect were that we, re we removed the three-month three time incentive that was previously available in the learner's phase if you, would, if you went through an approved program. It's now a one-year learner's phase, and if you take an approved program, you can get a novice phase reduced by six, six months, as long as you've been 18 months infraction-free and 18 months no-fault crash-free. What made you um, make those changes? What was the reason? Behind? Again, it was both our experience and the experience of other jurisdictions that the longer somebody has that supervised driving time. How do you think that teenagers feel about the recent changes? I, I can only speak anecdotally. <clears throat> the, the feedback I've heard from, from a lot of teenagers is that they, uh, they do like it when they've had a chance to digest it because, because of the restrictions that are in place for the novice phase, having the opportunity to get that shortened by six months appeals to some, maybe not all, but appeals to some more than getting the learner's phase reduced by three months. Okay. Um, how do you think these changes will affect business for driving instructors? We, when we first went down this road of looking at these changes, it was based on the fact that we had done this study and knew that, that learner drivers were more at risk. So right at the time that we decided that changes were going to have to be involved, we created a joint working group with the driver training school industry. This was about a year ago. So they've been consulted throughout this whole year. It's, it's our expectation that in the long run, um, their business will still thrive much like it has because people will realize the benefits, not only from a safety point of view, um, whether it's the new driver themselves paying for it or a parent, that there, there still will be benefits to going through an improved school, but also there'll be those that are looking to obtain that six month reduction. So I think after this glut of first drivers goes through, then it'll become more steady for them like it was before. And I interviewed tons of kids and I asked each and every one of them, if they know someone's violated their own, and every single kid said, yeah, everyone. So do you really feel that the program is really deterring that? Yeah. I think the premise behind most road safety programs is that it involves the three E's, education, engineering, and enforcement. This, this particular program doesn't involve engineering, but it is about education and it is about enforcement. Um, RCMP that I've spoken to is actually in this area as well, um, are enforcing the, the one passenger rule when they find it. And I think the other thing that will affect the behavior is that when new drivers recognize that if they want to get out of the end six months earlier, that they're going to have to adhere. Do you feel it really necessary to be labeling the cars that have, that have restrictions on their license? The premise of that when it was first brought into it was for, for two reasons. One was the hope that, that seasoned or experienced drivers would see the L in the end and cut those drivers some slack recognize that they may be unpredictable, especially if they're in the L phase in terms of, and give some slack in terms of. The other benefit, and uh, which was also part of it, was that um, from the enforcement point of view, it does identify those drivers and provide the RCMP or, or police the opportunity to, to give a reminder to somebody that seems to be breaking those rules. So is the graduated licensing program really as life-saving as ICBC says it is? Well, it's hard to come to a conclusion since it seems that most teenagers violate the end restriction, which makes ICBC statistics unclear. Although, we can come to the conclusion that teenagers believe having your end means freedom. But they also believe having your end means violating the law, because in their minds, the rules are too restricting. Trying to kiss me right and dirty. Trying to kiss me right and dirty. My music's so loud. I'm swinging. Kiss me riding dirty. Tryna 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 kiss me riding